Hi, I'm Mrs Turner and welcome to Storytime. Today I'm reading a very special story called Anzac Ted, written by Belinda Lansbury. I've chosen this book because it's a very special book leading up to Anzac Day. Hope you enjoy it. Called Anzac Ted, written by Belinda Lansbury. Anzac Ted's a scary bear and I can tell you why. He's missing bits, his tummy splits, he only has one eye. His fur is torn and dirty and he hasn't any clothes. He doesn't hear with just one ear. He should have two of those. His head is kind of wobbly and his legs are rather slow. Perhaps it's due to one or two encounters with a foe. I put him in the washer and I try to get him clean, but Anzac clings to bras and strings and things I've never seen. He frightens all the children, making show and tell a mess. I don't know why some start to cry, but reckon I can guess. He never wins the toy show when we vote our favourite toy. He doesn't tote a single vote from any girl or boy. Instead, the class just ridicules all 27 kids, though no one knows my Anzac's woes or just how brave he is. They just can't see his special or the secret he may hold. He might look worn and badly torn, but Anzac's very old. See, Anzac was my grandpa's when my grandpa was a kid. He made it through a war or two, just like the Anzacs did. When Grandpa Jack enlisted, he was only 21. He kissed his wife, he loved his life, and hugged his baby son. Then Grandma packed a teddy bear, the bear he called his own. For luck, she said, take Anzac, Ted. I know he'll bring you home. So Anzac Ted went off to war from Africa to Greece, and in each tent that Anzac went, he gave our soldiers peace. He soon became their mascot, and despite the diggers' dread, they knew that they would make it through alongside Anzac Ted. So Anzac was a hero when the war was finally done. Though battle sore and scarred by war, he'd faced his fears and won. He never saw a medal, but some heroes never do, and we don't see just how we'd be without our Anzac crew. I know he isn't pretty, and some people roll their eyes, but if they see, like you and me, through Anzac's thin disguise, they'd see a hero, plain as day, who sits upon my bed, a hero who saved me and you. His name is Anzac Ted. Thank you for listening to the story. I hope you really enjoyed it. There are so many nice new books down there. This is another one of those new ones. Come in and see us at recess and lunchtime and see if you can find one of the new books.